Michael Garza's parents say they weren't sure who to believe, their eight-year-old son or his reading teacher, Savanya Deplande Haston. She calls me fat. The second grader also told his parents Mrs. Haston would punish him and other students by making them do push-ups and squatting exercises. I need to know for myself what's going on. The same day they complained to the principal about Mrs. Haston, Michael and Jessica Garza put a tape recorder in their little boy's pocket. Listen to what the reading teacher says to Michael after he calls her ma'am. I couldn't believe oh my God. what I was hearing. Apparently the Garzas weren't the only parents at Deshams Elementary complaining about Mrs. Haston. On the tape, you hear her tell the class of seven and eight-year-olds she could have charges filed against them and their parents for lying and violating her civil rights. I have rights too. So when you lie on me, right, you have a right to lie. I have a right to an attorney. I have a right to file charges against you and your family. I have the right to take them straight up to the top of the grand jury and to the federal government and file charges against your parents and go to share with every racist or in their houses. That's the law. So what did HISD decide to do about Mrs. Haston? The district removed her from Desham Elementary. Following a thorough investigation and legal consultation, the district reprimanded her and reassigned her to another elementary school. Haston didn't respond to our attempts to get her side of the story. And I just don't think that she should be allowed to be teaching these children. The Garzes are upset that the district is allowing Haston to keep teaching elementary age children. The Garzes say while they gave HISD concrete evidence, their son got nothing from the district, not even an apology. Randy Wallace, Fox 26, he investigates.